I just figured we'll make, we'll capture a few little video clips here. Actually, you know what? Because once you remove that, you won't be able to start it, will you? Yeah, you can start it. It's just, it just has an open waste can. Oh, okay. All right, well, it's hood fitting day. Matt's been getting this thing dialed in. It's got it, got it running pretty good now. He's driven it to work every day this week without a hood on it and got caught out in the rain and flash the rest of the downpipe. We'll get that taken care of. But today what we're gonna do is make a cut in the hood to, to support this turbo. And then at a later point, we'll figure out, you know, what we're gonna do about that. If we're gonna, you know, do some kind of uh, sheet metal cover to go on it or maybe some kind of billet aluminum thing or whatever but for now today we're just trying to get it um, a whole cut in the hood so we've taken some measurements and we're going to try to get this uh, eyeballed and um, we've, we've got some hood fitment issues on this side the hood's fitting good on that side so we're going to use the cowl and this edge over here as our reference to line the hood up and uh, so we'll, we're just making a little video here We'll come back and show you uh, what we end up doing. We've got the hood stacked up over there. We've got front sheet metal on here. Compliments of Shut Your Face Garage. He, when we had our accident, he get kicked in and uh, covered these uh, these parts for us. So those are. So we get this uh, kind of factory uh, wastegate here, and it was going to be sticking up way too high. So we've got it moved out of the way and. We've got a lot of adjustability there in that bracket or the uh, rod, as you see. And um, so we're going to be able to make a new bracket, lower that down, and get it below the uh, surface level. But for now, we just got it out of the way. We're going to rotate that clamp and see if we can make relief for these two things right here. All right, so we're just trying to locate where we are here on the hood. We took some initial measurements and then scratched a... I think it's right there, actually. That's like a Sharpie mark. Yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. So just scratched a mark through the hole to see where we are, trying to get trying to get it lined up on the center of it there. So I think we're, we're pretty close on that. So what Matt's doing there, we uh, ended up making a little cardboard template here. Uh, once we found the center of the of the compressor housing, uh, we needed to get the angle here of you know because the turbo is kind of in there on that angle. So we found it from the edge of this and just rigged up a little template. And then Matt show us how it goes over here. Um, so we took some more measurements basically and used our template with the edge to locate some holes. We're going to use a hole saw to contour out the end and see how we transfer that over to get those marks. So we got to go get a hole saw, three and a half inch hole saw. Harbor Freight time. Yeah. Just drill through it forward and then let's see about going backwards. Yeah, Thanks. 
way out around it. Better be alright. Think so? Yeah. Try forward or keep going? You can try. You're just gonna have to go light with it and try to keep it even. I think it's look at that. To hold it with two hands. Wobbly though? I know. Oh, that's going to take a lot of cutting because it's not going straight. It's almost like a sander. Let's see if we can get that in there. I mean, those, it's all kind of self-aligned. I don't know how you could line it up any better. There's no movement in it, is there? Okay. Yeah, we got us a, a carbon steel. Carbon freight. All right, we just uh, cut that out as you saw. Doing a little test fit here. Eh, we didn't get it exactly centered. Our measurements were not great, but you know what? This is Ramsey Customs. This is kind of how we do it. You know, it's everything we make is just, it's just a little bit off. I don't know why. Yeah, but this side of the family gets a little bit worse. I know we're backlit right there, but we're hitting on the inner structure here. Uh, I don't know if you can pick that up or not. You can see part of the inner structure right there is hitting on the uh, exhaust housing. So we're going to remove a little bit of the inner structure and it should let it sit on down there where it needs to be. You can see we're sitting up a little high right there. All right, so just notched out more of that support there. So what we're talking about doing is taking uh, that's a three and a half inch hole saw that we use, the three and a half inch gap. It's a little bit wider than that. But what we're talking about doing is getting, uh, these are three inch, but getting a three and a half inch U-bend and just slicing the top out of it and making that a little bump panel that'll have a nice, you know, fairly uniform look to it, fitting that on there. That's the thought anyway. What do you guys think? All right, we are gonna put hood pins in it now. We're gonna order some bump stops, uh, bump rest, whatever you call it, because we replaced the core support. Pop it up there. When we wrecked it, now it's got a new core support in it. So, we gotta get the bump stops. I guess they're, they're gone now. We got our uh, bump rest in, in place there. Got those set up. Those should work good. Hood pins. Like money. I mean, really, at this point, we got the hood fitting, and that's, you know, the gaps are pretty good on it. Uh, I think I might have showed this in another video. I've got to rework this fender here, but 
Got a decent little gap up there. Got a quarter inch gap pretty much all the way around. These fenders are... get in the booth though. I have no wastegate on it right now. Well, why'd you take the wastegate off for? You did it. You made me. We haven't even checked to see if it'll fit under. We gotta make it fit. No, it'll fit. Yeah, we forgot we took the wastegate off. There it is laying down there and it bolts right there. Nothing to press against, no leverage. All right, let's make another pass on it and see if it'll make some boost this time. I don't know if you can see this, if there's enough light in there, but we modified that bracket, the mounting point and lowered it up. It was mounted up here on top. You can see where it's hacked off across there. Lowered it down and it's letting it sit all the way down and it recesses in that inner part of the structure there. So hood's closing. We got actuation on it. So let's see if it'll come up on boost. Thank you. 